This is the first book of MPC 01. I'm going to tell you the important questions you can study right before the exams. So we will start with unit 1 which is cognitive psychology. In this unit what you can study is this topic cognitive psychology introduction what you need to learn is the definition of cognitive psychology like what is cognitive psychology and there can be questions where you have to differentiate cognitive psychology with cognitive uh, neuroscience or cognitive science the second one the second topic is research methods there are four research methods first is experiments on human behavior then second is psych psychobiological research fourth is self report case studies and naturalistic observation and the last one is computer simulations and artificial intelligence now on a, the next topic is domains of psychology this is also very important you can learn two or three lines of these or you can just understand what these domains are and then you can write them in your own words as there are a lot of domains like there are 12 of them then what you have to do is yes this one cognitive psychology as it is today in this you have to write about cognitive psychology in the present day scenario then there are these key issues key issues in study of cognitive psychology first is nature versus nurture then second is rationalism versus empiricism then structures versus processes domain generality versus domain specificity then validity of causal inferences versus ecological validity then applied versus basic research and lastly biological versus behavioral methods then there is cognitive science what is cognitive science and this one is not that important but still you can at least read this neuroscience and cognitive psychology how they are related that's all in the first chapter it covers almost all the topics then the second one information processing in learning and memory okay in this chapter there are these sensory memory types of memory there are three types of storage system sensory then short term and long term memory then there can be a question where you have to differentiate between short term memory and long term memory so for that you have to keep your concept clear in this short term memory there is also one topic that is this miller's magic number you can write a short note at least and read it then the topic next topic is this one principles of information processing in this there are four principles and you can find these principle in these paragraphs the first one is here the second principle third principle and the last fourth principle after that on to the next page we don't have anything important here moving on further there is this bloom's taxonomy of cognitive domain sternberg's information processing approach this is very important and that is all in this chapter next chapter neuropsychological basis of learning and memory this is again about memory nothing here nothing important here also not much questions come from this chapter but you can read this topic animals model animal models of memory and
nothing important in that chapter then fourth chapter models of information processing this is important vogue and normus model of primary and secondary memory you can read this then there is this one all you can also read only then levels of recall is not that important and then this one is important levels of processing craig and lockhart what you need to do is cover all aspects of these levels of processing like you can just read it out and make short notes and that is that's all that's all from this book